in Germany. Cheers. So cool. <laughs> I wish I could serve like that. We're Matt and Nat, and we've spent the last three years traveling the world as part-time non-remote travelers. After accomplishing our goal of visiting all 50 U.S. states in 2021, we've set out on our next big adventure to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die, well, before we die. In our last video, we were in Quebec, Canada at North America's only ice hotel, where we had a dance party at the ice bar, thawed out and relaxed in the Arctic spa, and experienced our coldest adventure yet, sleeping in a hotel room made of ice. This week we're in Munich, Germany. Welcome, Welcome to, to Munich. Munich. If you've been following our channel for a while now, then you know that we've been to Munich a couple of times before. We were actually here in 2019 for Oktoberfest, but that was before we started our YouTube channel, and then again last year for the Christmas markets. But since we were here for specific festivals and events, we never really got to explore the city that much, so that's what we plan to do today. Now, obviously, there is so much more to do, see, and eat here in Munich than we're going to be able to do in one day, but make sure you guys check out our blog for a whole lot more detail and recommendations. But now we're going to start things off with a world famous delicatessen and cafe. I can't remember the name of the tea, but I know it was number 113. It is delicious. A place that has matching china is for me. Obsessed. <laughs> A place that has china at all is uh, slightly <laughs> unusual for us, but. With a matching, <laughs> I mean. So we ordered a lot more than we thought we did. Our table is barely big enough to even hold it all, but let's dig in. I got the Eggs Benedict with salmon on top. Looks absolutely incredible. So good. This is a very big bite. Oh my gosh. Decadent in every single way possible. I'm obsessed with this place. <laughs> got the power bowl which is apple granola mixed berries pomegranate seeds and then i also got the petite breakfast which i didn't really read i thought it was just a basket of bread but it actually comes with fruit and jams and jellies and i'm absolutely in heaven That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> if you're looking for an excellent cafe during your visit to Munich, this is the place, especially for all of you coffee and tea lovers oh out there. Oh my gosh, yes. yes they, they have specialty. My tea that I got said it was for a connoisseur. <laughs> Now, if this doesn't I mean. scream connoisseur, I mean, come on. <laughs> they also had quite a handful of selections of single origin coffees, and of course the breakfast, you saw that. Absolutely incredible. So definitely come here. And now the prices aren't astronomical, but it felt like such a luxury experience. Yep. I can't recommend it enough. Yeah, and they have like a full deli downstairs with a shopping area. They have fine dining next door. I mean, they this place everything. is awesome. <laughs> but now we're gonna go see if we can get a bird eye view of the city. training in before this. We're here during the middle of the week, so there's a lot of school groups and they're a little loud. <laughs> Rambunctious. Gotta 
traffic jam. <laughs> I don't think that they limit the amount of people going up and down the stairs. It's fine. I heard in German that they said we're halfway. Oh, is that what that was? That's what that was. I'm glad you understand it. Yeah, just sweating a lot, you know. Awesome. You can hear the bells. Yep, it's a beautiful view of the city. It is a little tight of a space, but if yep. you can get up here, the breeze feels amazing. I mean, the view is spectacular. Now we're going to make the climb back down and go explore the old town. And as you can tell by all of the people, there's about to be a show. <laughs> and by show, she means a clock tower show. Every day at 11 a.m. and 12 p.m., the clock goes off. It has a whole little show that happens with it. And then between March and October, I believe there's an additional show at 5 p.m. We've experienced it one time before, I Yeah, believe. if you've watched our Christmas yeah. market video right here, it was raining, so this is way <laughs> more beautiful. So we're gonna hang out with these thousands of people and watch the show. <laughs> We got postcards for our patrons. We <laughs> want to thank every single name down below. Without you guys, we would not be able to do this channel. And if you're interested in supporting our channel and what we do, check out our Patreon page. We'll put a link for it down in the description of this video. We would love to have you in the family. Not only does it help us, but it also comes with some pretty cool perks. decided to make a quick stop at the Munich Residenz, which is a palace right here in the middle of the city. For centuries, rulers and leaders have lived here in extreme opulence. Oh my we gosh, the pictures look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to do the tour and the museum, which they have, and you can absolutely do, and we recommend. Mm -hmm. But since we've only got the day to explore the city, we decided just to make a quick stop. But if you watched our Christmas market video, you probably recognize this courtyard that we're standing in right now. And that's because they set up an entire Christmas market in this courtyard 
courtyard and it was amazing. I am loving just walking around this beautiful city. It's completely different from when we were here at Christmas time. So it's just really beautiful. Everybody's out, the weather is gorgeous. I highly recommend checking it out in two different seasons. <laughs> If you have more time than we do, we definitely recommend taking a free walking tour. And we'll link the company that we always use down in the description of the video. It's just so great getting to walk around the city with a local guide learning the history, the culture, so check it out. When you visit Odeonsplatz, you can't miss the opportunity to come and check out the Hofgarten, which is right next to it. It used to be the private backyard of the residents, and now it is open to the public, and it's a beautiful park and green space with walkways and fountains and beautiful flowers. You have to check it out. Now, when you walk through the gates, make sure you turn around and check out these awesome murals that King Ludwig commissioned, and it tells the history of Bavaria. But now I think it's time for some lunch because we are getting really, really hungry, so let's go. Went in Germany. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> So I ordered a half Rattler because I didn't want a huge one, but a Rattler is like half beer, half citrus soda. And it is so refreshing, especially on like a warm day. Mm, so good. Why did I wink? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Women at Oktoberfest carry like 16 or 20 of these. It's insane. They are so heavy. I'm gonna try it. That's good. I like mine better though. Look at the size difference. I got the curry verse, which is a sausage with a curry sauce over top of it, and I got fries or palm frites as my side. So I ordered the Wiener Schnitzel, which is a thin veal cutlet, hammered down, breaded, and fried. And I also got pump frits on the side. And if you couldn't tell, it was pretty amazing. Told ya, it was good. <laughs> at the beer garden, but I am definitely not mad about it. And that's only because it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. The food was great, the beer was incredible, and it's something that you have to experience when you're in Munich. Now the Victualian Market is such a cool experience oh, yeah. all in itself. There are different vendors, so there's like cheese shops and meat stores and, and produce and restaurants and, and all the things yeah. that you could ever want out of a market are there. So definitely take time to experience that. You definitely could spend hours just exploring that little area. For sure. But now I think we're going to be going to get dessert. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we just went to Cafe Frischhut. Uh, Schmalznudel. And we got a Schmalznudel. Perfect. Let Good us job. know in the comments. I don't think I said it correctly, but it's like fried dough and we got it with sugar, yep. obviously. And that is all that that cafe does is fried dough items. Now so. also it's cash only, so make sure you have cash yep. before you go. Oh. And it's hot. Oh, it's fresh and it, just smell that. Stick your nose in that mm, bag. That smells so good. What's not to love? Fried dough, fried to perfection, then tossed in sugar. So good. Oh my god, we should have got two. <laughs> we got it to go, but we definitely recommend sitting, getting coffee. Yeah, I mean, they've got a little outside seating area, mm -hmm. and on a beautiful day like today, definitely recommend doing that. Now we're gonna take our schmalz noodle and go walking. <laughs> I don't know. So 
if you want to use the bathroom here in Europe, bring cash. You can always put in like water closet and they should show you like a public restroom on Google Maps. Yep. Matt didn't want me on Maximilian Street for very long, <laughs> so we literally were on it for like a block, and that is like the expensive yeah. stores. Guys, it's just the way Google is taking me. So. Oh, is that right? So if you are very into luxury shopping, that is the place for you. I unfortunately am not, but good you for you. You are into it. I mean, I am into it, but I don't know. Yeah, you're right, yeah. <laughs> This is somewhere that's been on my bucket list for years. Before I even knew it was in Munich, more than a decade ago, I wanted to come see this place. So yes, I'm in heaven. Does it live <laughs> up to the hype? 100%, absolutely. That was so cool. I wish I could surf like that. I would jump right in. It's a pretty high pressure place to surf though because you have a pretty big audience the entire time. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna be exploring the English garden a little bit. Let's do it. Do want to forewarn any American coming to the English Garden, there may or may not be nudity. So just prepare yeah. yourself for that. I don't know if it's just a certain part of the English Garden or the English Garden as a whole. I don't know. But apparently you can sunbathe or nude. just enjoy nature in the nude. So. Yeah, so more power to you if that's your thing. Uh, the English Garden is where you want to go. This is just for our moms, but we're not partaking. And we're also here with a lot of fully clothed people. Yes. So uh, just that. all this way for nothing. off the bus. I wanted to film us getting onto the bus, but it came way too fast and yeah. Yeah, it was a bit of a frenzy to catch it and then we rode it one stop too far. So now we got to backtrack a little bit. Always make sure that you validate your tickets. So that is a yes. pro tip. Yeah, because there's nobody checking like, but somebody could check and then you'll get in trouble. Yeah, we always <laughs> validate. of like almost missing the bus and getting on the U-Bahn and that whole thing. We forgot to tell you what we're doing. We are headed to dinner at one of the best Bavarian restaurants in the city center. We have heard mixed opinions on whether it's a tourist trap or not. Mm -hmm. You let us know in the comments if you've been and what you think, but it is called... I'll put it right here. Augustiner Klosterwert. Nailed it, nailed it. Very German sounding, so I'm sure. <laughs> we are super excited to eat some more Bavarian food. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got the full pork knuckle and the dark beer gravy with a potato dumpling on the side and the coleslaw. How are you gonna eat that, Matt? With a fork and a knife. But in all seriousness, I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat it. Pretty dang good. Got that pork crackling skin on it. It's like crispy on the outside, tender and juicy on the inside. And then that dark gravy just adds a nice richness of flavor. Oh yeah, I'm a fan. All right, so I'm gonna read what I got. I got the Junge Schweinbraten in Dunkelbeer Soße mit Kartoffelnudeln and Speckkrautsalat. I don't know. It's pretty much a pork roast with a potato dumpling and bacon coleslaw and dark beer gravy. Let's dig in. Mm, the gravy is so good. It's not super creamy. The potato dumpling has a very interesting texture to it. It tastes like potato, but the texture is not like a potato. It's very interesting, but everything's cooked to perfection. I am a fan of this place. So dinner was super filling. <laughs> the waiter was actually taken aback when I ordered the full yeah. pork knuckle. <laughs> he was. And I didn't realize why until it came. That it's, thing was huge. <laughs> it's definitely something that you should order and split between two or three people. Yeah. But you know, you live and you learn. But that's going to actually end our time exploring the city of Munich. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as we've enjoyed making it because we truly have loved getting to experience this city in a new way. Unlike we have in the past and if you did enjoy watching the video please remember to hit that big thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos now while that ends our time exploring the city of munich that doesn't end our time here in munich nope. so we're actually going to be going to the largest folk festival in the world that's right so we'll see you guys there that's a great view what did i get um <laughs> oh schnitzel fried and breaded breaded and fried we're down, fried and fretted. Breaded and fried. I need to take a photo first. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Got him. This guy is amazing on the accordion. Fun fact, did you guys know that Matt won an accordion at a secret Santa? I did. I've yet to learn how to play it, but Yeah, you I need to one. learn so you could be as good as that guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Can you hear me now? I'm struggling. Smell my bag. <laughs> Hashtag. If you know, you know. I'm then we do, we uh, I was gonna say highly recommend. That's my favorite thing. Because I my, do my, highly recommend it. My favorite is when she really loves something, she goes, highly, highly, highly recommend. <laughs> I've had to start cutting them out. So it's just one. I'm sorry. That's all right. I always say, here in Munich, here in Greenville, here in Asheville, here in. Yeah. So when you guys leave comments and you say things, we know, okay? We watch and edit these vlogs. If anyone knows that we have habits of saying things, over it's and over us. again, it's us. <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> We're unfortunately aware. <laughs> I'm frozen, I'm frozen, der Movie-Kite. Just practicing for tomorrow. <laughs> A little hint for you guys where we're headed.